If you've got five minutes, but not all day, here's a really crap guide to anime. I'm no smoker, but I'll light a Cubano. This is a totally crap guide to the first part of Wano. The pirate ninja mink samurai your mom alliance is formed, but now before Luffy says... Wait a minute! And is like, we getting my boy back first. Luffy, Robin, Chopper, and Brooke head off to Whole Cake Island, and they tell Frankie, Usopp, Zoro, and Robin to sneak into Wano and start preparing to take down Kaido, which once again splits up the Straw Hats. Carrot, the bunny, does a better stowaway job than Caribou, and shows up on the Thousand Sunny heading towards Whole Cake Island. Meanwhile, in Wano Country... Kinemon and Momonosuke traveled around Wano gathering the nine red scabbards. After Luffy, Nami, Chopper, Brook, and Carrot leave Whole Cake Island, they travel for a few days and eventually reach Wano. Proceed directly up the waterfall to reach your destination. Watch out for the giant fighting fish that are trying to kill you. The Thousand Sunny gets shipwrecked while going up the waterfall, and Luffy awakens on a random beach. A random beach? Must be Tuesday. The fuck? Is that an ape? <laughs> then this gangster ass girl rolls up on a dog that looks like a lion. Papa Perk, I got a gorilla to come and kill you with banana. The ape is now our friend. <laughs> Luffy chills with the girl that is low key living ecstasy. And Usopp, I mean Tengu. Luffy says he's hungry and this little girl gives him her rice balls that she only gets on her birthday and she barely eats anything else because Eric Cartman and actual Pitbull are poisoning this part of the country with these fake devil fruits that are super, and we only get one of these, fucked up. But we'll get to that later. Zoro Story Zoro pretty much was working as a samurai cop, and then this asshole frames him for murder, so he's sentenced to a public un aliving. So Zoro pulls a mihawk and kills him with a tiny seppuku knife. He then goes on the run and becomes a rogue, wandering samurai. He's followed by Kozuki Odin's now grown-up daughter, a woman named Hiyori, who is a high-ranking red-light district courtesan that was especially liked by Orochi. But Orochi got annoyed with her and had her killed, but this guy faked her death, and smuggled her out. She was joined by a little girl named Otoko, who can only smile and laugh because of that super fucked up story. Zoro, Hiori, and Otoko get attacked by a serial killer that's been roaming around Wano named Kamazo, but this is actually Killer, the first mate of the Kid Pirates, aka Bakugo from back on Sabaty's crew. The Joker stabs Zoro with a scythe, and Zoro like, Thanks for the extra weapon, I think I'll keep this and low-key Dragon Ball Z's this boy. After this, Yori's like, have my baby, and Zoro's like, bet. They are found by Sanji and Brook. Wait, uh, hey, it's not what it looks like! Sanji, Zoro's story brought to you by the subscribe button. The subscribe button. Hit it like Yori. All right, you know that really fucked up story that ties all of this together? Well, here it is. <clears throat> Dr. Vegapunk created artificial devil fruits called Smile Fruits, and Kaido gave them to his crewmates to create a pirate crew with all animal superpowers. Smile Fruits are a gamble because if they don't give you superpowers, they warp your body and mind so that you are unable to express any expression other than smiling and laughing. Orochi and Kaido were poisoning Wano by creating arms factories, 
There were people starving in Ebisu town to the point that a woman was shown about to murder her baby because she couldn't feed it. Orochi, in one of the most evil acts in all of One Piece, sends them a cart chock full of defective smile fruits. The entire town turned into a playthrough of We Happy Few. Little Otoko accidentally ate one of the fruits and became cursed. Her father, Yasui, one of Kozuki Odin's good friends, saw what had happened and purposely ate from it so that she wouldn't be alone in her curse. Later on, after discovering that he was a friend to Odin, Orochi crucified Yasui, and Tengu stood by Otoko as she watched her father die, but could do nothing but smile and laugh uncontrollably while in unspeakable pain on the inside. <laughs> Luffy and Zoro meet up and eventually have to fight Sad Batman. Not that Sad Batman, not even that Sad Batman, but this Sad Batman. Then Zoltar, the all-seeing psychic, look, look, I know this is a great time to make a Dr. Facilier reference, but Basil Hawkins just isn't black. Anyways, Hawkins summons a giant straw demon with a big sword that has nail guns for fingers, and Zoro says, A giant straw demon with a big sword that has nail guns for fingers? Ugh, must be Tuesday. Hawkins is locked in, but Zoro's like, Bro, you think you're actually good. Bro, I'm not trying. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better! Luffy and Zoro head into the flower capital, where Luffy briefly shows us what a fight between Fred Dukes and Fat Bastard would look like. He meets up with the rest of the Straw Hats, minus Chopper and Nami. They all head up to the grave of the Nine Red Scabbards, and their story is explained to Luffy, who assumes they're dead, just as Kinemon shows up with them. While they are all talking, they see Kaido attacking the flower capital in his dragon form. Luffy goes down there, and... <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Luffy versus Kaido, round one. Speed, his agility, it's a veritable ballet of punches. He's too fast for Cell to even fight back. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and now for my finish! <laughs> Luffy gets one shot, and never in my life have I felt more like he deserved it. Luffy gets thrown in the slammer with a collar around his neck that will explode if you try to remove it. Luffy meets Master Shifu, I mean Master Roshi, I mean Yoda, I mean Breast Milk, I mean Hiogoro of the Flowers, who teaches him a technique called Ryo, which makes hockey cause internal hemorrhaging. Man with an elephant where his stomach should be starts a fight club, and Luffy beats all the competitors and wins all the food, which he gives to the other prisoners. The boss of the prison, a fat man in a striped outfit named Queen, is mad that this happened and poisons all of the prisoners with an incurable flesh-eating disease that spreads through skin contact and makes them attack Luffy. But Luffy holds back all of them and gets infected. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But Luffy's been exposed to so much poison that his body is pretty much immune by now. A wild Big Mom appears! Big Mom, Nami, Chopper, and Carrot bust into the prison, and it turns out that Big Mom has developed amnesia, and is now back to her nice child mentality. Nami and Chopper promise her Oshiruko, and upon discovering that it had all been eaten by Queen, she attacks Queen. In the chaos, Luffy takes a risk and uses Ryo to break both his and Hiyagoro's collar. Luffy contributes to habitat destruction, and Hiyori says to Zoro, Hey, that's our sword. Give it back. 
She gives him Enma, Odin's sword, which nearly kills him, and he accidentally cuts an entire cliffside off the mountain that they're on. The Nine Red Scabbards prepare to attack Kaido's island castle, Onigashima. Let's review. Doflamingo is also known as Joker. Smile Foods permanently make you laugh. Luffy and Zoro fight Batman. Hawkins summons the Scarecrow. A fat man in stripes runs the prison. Wano is just one piece as Gotham. DC crossover confirmed. This has been a crap guide to the first part of Wano. And now you know something. Hello everybody, Afrowex here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us what you would like to see in the next video. Check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com backslash Afrowex. A shout out to our mythical patron, Calvin C, and our legendary patron, Tricks the Anime Hater. Right.